By the way, Mike, is that true that the whole recruiting process, uh, Monaco's recruiting campaign basically also started from you? Because from what I understood, you're in a good connection with Nicola. I remember the way you stood up for him after his Final Four experience, which was tough. This His semifinal game against Real Madrid was really bad, but you kind of stood up. And I heard that you might also, you've been involved in this whole process, maybe just texting him or asking if you could join us, if you would join us, if we could make a good fit over there in Monaco. Was, was that true? Did you try to get involved at least a little bit or just to check what he thinks of it? Uh, I've been involved in like five people's recruiting process, actually. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Nico's, uh, we played together in, in New Orleans, so I've known him for a little while. And, uh, you know, we two of the like, uh, you know, more high profile players to play in the EuroLeague ever that haven't won. I think I seen an article last year that said we probably the two best that haven't won. So, uh, I think after we both had a, a final four that was not what we wanted. I think we kind of had a conversation and talked about playing it with each other, no matter uh, where the destination was. And obviously he was having problems in Barcelona and they were having problems. So uh, the easiest answer was Monaco. So uh, I tried to connect the dots there and try to, you know, facilitate uh, him going somewhere. Obviously I'm not in the uh, GM room or the uh, owner's room or the coach's room. So it's, you know, I just can only talk a little bit and I can't do numbers. I can't promise things. I can't do none of that. All I can do is uh, just tell them goods and bads and tell them I want to play with them and hopefully it'll work out. But uh, obviously he didn't choose us and go with us. He had a, you know, a lot going on. And uh, he was, as friends, we were very, he was very open with me the whole time about what he was going to do. And, uh, you know, I was trying not to bother him too much because, you know, you kind of don't want to bother somebody when they're making a big decision like that. But I, I reached out a lot almost every other day just to talk and see what he was doing and see what he was thinking and see where he was leaning. So uh, it wasn't really a surprise to me when he kind of was leaning towards a uh, partisan and then whatever happened with that. And then I kind of knew he was going to Milan.